paintings aren't the only art form that people have been able to make programming languages out of. In the programming language Volato, you write code by using musical notes. It was created by Daniel Temkin, and it uses the MIDI as its source files, in much the same way that Pete uses PNGs or GIFs. Volato's commands are all based on the root note. The root note is determined by the first note you play in the piece. In this video, for simplicity's sake, I will only be using C as the root note. To change the root note, you play a major second, which in the C scale is a D, followed by the new root note. Each command starts with the root note, followed by one or more notes of a specific interval in the scale. This language stores variables as specific notes on the staff, and off the staff, basically any playable notes. To declare a variable, you play a minor sixth, followed by the note to use as the variable, and then the type, which can be any second for an int, any third for a character, or a perfect fourth for a double. Variables are the only things in this language where the octave of the note actually matters. To assign a variable to something, you play a minor third, followed by the variable, and then the expression to assign the variable to. I will explain how to write expressions later. There are also the standard block commands, which all begin with a major third. The note after the major third determines which type of block it is. You use a major third for a while block, a perfect fourth to end the while block, a perfect fifth for an if block, a major sixth for an else block, and a major seventh to end an if block. The if and while commands require an expression come after them, and they are used in the way most programming languages use them. To print an expression, you play a major sixth, followed by a perfect fifth, and then the expression to print. Several commands require an expression follow them. Unlike commands, expressions don't need to start with the root note. Also, for each interval, you can use either the major or minor variant, and it will work. Also, when you need to use a fifth, you can use either the tritone, aka the DEVIL'S INTERVAL, or the perfect fifth. Also, the only fourth you can use in Volato is the perfect fourth, since the tritone is already used for the fifth. Anyway, expressions are treated the same way in Volato as in any other language. However, they are made of notes instead of letters. To use a value as an expression, you first play a major third. The next note is based on which type of value you want to use. To use a variable's value, you play a second, followed by the variable's note. The other values you can use are positive integers, negative integers, characters, positive doubles, and negative doubles. These types of values all work in the same way. You'll use one note for each digit based on where it is in the scale, excluding the root note and the perfect fifth. When the perfect fifth is played, that signals the end of a value for characters and integers, and the decimal point for doubles. A double ends after the second perfect fifth. For characters, you write them in the same way you do integers, and it converts them to the respected ASCII character. For if and while commands, you will need to use conditional statements. To create the conditional symbols, you first play a second. The next note determines which condition to use. You can create an equals, equals, greater than, less than, not, and, and or. These work the same way as they do in other languages. You can also perform math operations. To add the symbol of the operation to the expression, you first play a fifth. To perform a simple math operation, you play another fifth, followed by a note that determines whether to add, subtract, multiply, divide, or modulo. To perform an exponential operation, instead of playing the second fifth, you play a seventh, followed by a second for raising it to a power, or a third for the logarithm function. Lastly, you can use parentheses by playing two sixths in a row, followed by another sixth for an opening parenthesis, or a second for a closing one. Another thing to note is that these should be treated like the symbols in an expression in another language. So to add, you do value, addition sign, and then the other value. Anyway, like my previous videos, I'll make a program that says the language's name. The first thing you need to do is play the root note. I am using C, but you can use anything. Next, you need to call the print command by playing a major sixth, and then a perfect fifth. Now, we need to put in the expression. Since a character is a value, we play a third, and because it's a character, we follow it with a fourth. The next two notes determine which character is outputted based on the ASCII value. Since the letter V has the ASCII value of 86, we play an A-sharp, which corresponds to 8, and a G-sharp, which corresponds to 6. Lastly, we play a perfect fifth, which marks the end of the character. The five remaining characters are outputted in much the same way. We just change the notes that determine which character to output. For the letter E, which has the ASCII value of 69, we play G-sharp, followed by B. For L, we play A and G-sharp, to get the value of 76. A, with the value of 65, uses the notes G-sharp and F-sharp. T uses A-sharp and F to get 84, and O uses A and B to get its value of 79. Once you have all the notes done, you can change up the rhythm to make it sound better. 
The version of this program that I made before making this video sounds like this. Anyway, I also made a truth machine. A truth machine takes input from the user, and, if the input is 0, it outputs 0 and stops. If the input is 1, it outputs 1 indefinitely. There is no input command in Volato, so I instead used a single variable. But otherwise, it fits the definition of a truth machine. Anyway, since I can't make my adding program due to the fact you can't get input in Velado, I think that means this is the end of the vi- Hey! You there! Not so fast! Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Junior Troopa from Paper Mario. BOO! <laughs> what does boo mean? What are you doing here? I am here to get my revenge on you! Wait, for what? Don't act like you don't know. You stole my lucky penny. It was on the sidewalk just lying there. Of course I would pick it up. Anyway, do you want it back? Gah, I was letting it sunbathe. Duh. And no, I don't want it back. It's already been ruined by you touching it. Anyway, I have crafted the most impossible challenge for you. I challenge you to create a 99 bottles of beer program in Melbourne. But this video's about Velado. Fine, do it in Velado, I don't care. And if you fail, I'll delete your channel. <sighs> Fine. That doesn't seem too difficult. Lies! LIES! Alright, while I do this, you stand behind this white box. Anyway, a 99 bottles of beer program outputs the lyrics to the song 99 bottles of beer, which is a song that goes a bit like this. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer! Take one down, pass it around, 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles of beer! Take one down, pass it around, 97 bottles of beer on the wall! As you can see, this song requires that an integer ticks down from 99 all the way to 0, as well as a lot of text be outputted. The variable part is easy, since I can just create a while loop and subtract one from the variable after each verse. The difficult, or rather, time-consuming part, is actually printing the words. While the way to output text in Volato is easier than it is in Brain <laughs> or Pete, it is still very tedious and annoying. In fact, in the 99 bottles of beer program that I made, the majority of the notes are just dedicated to outputting the words, and the entire piece is about three and a half minutes long. Here's an excerpt. And here it is in action! And if it doesn't work, which, let's face it, it probably won't, then it's bye bye channel! <laughs> Fakery! Yeah, that's right. You must have made it in something else, and then you pretended it was made in Volato. But the source file is in the description. Anyone, including you, can verify that this works by downloading and running the program themselves. Nonsense! Nobody defeats Master Junior Troopa! Except Mario. Six times. What? Grr! This isn't the end, Truddle One. I'll be back. I mean it. This isn't the last you've seen of. Wait. What? What's happening? No! Finally, he's gone. Anyway, if you want to download and try Volato yourself, you can follow the links in the description. Also, you can download the programs that I made in the description as well. Thanks to my little brother Brody for recording 99 bottles of beer on the wall, and Merrick Scrub, Exploding Waffle, and the aforementioned Brody for recording the BOO sound effect. Also, if there's a weird programming language that I haven't talked about that you would like me to, leave a request in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!